It is never, ever, ever, Cassie, too late to pursue something that you are passionate about, something new in your life that would excite you. I um, have an opportunity to attend something that I am not sure if I actually qualify for or if it would be a waste of my time. And really, I'm more embarrassed about being ridiculed or having other people have secondhand embarrassment about me if I attend this. And what I'm talking about is there's a nationwide, so any anyone listening can do this if you're a plus size lady, casting call for models for a specific plus size store where I happen to shop a lot called Torrid. They have a lot of cute clothes um, and when you get to a certain size, you're like pretty limited anyway in stores and thank God for like stores like Torrid and Eloquy that exist. Tell me more about that. What do you mean? Um, you said that it's very limited if you go to a store that's not specifically for this. When is the end of the line? Um, a lot of the times around size 14 or 16. Um, and just to give you like the average uh, women's size in the U.S. is like a 14 or a 16 to give you that sort of input. So like mm -hmm. it used to be like when I was a little lighter kids I could walk into like a Macy's or something like that and still go to the back of the rack a lot of the collections wouldn't have my size but they would have plus sizes um, sections they're usually like hidden in the basement but you can find them it what is it at like a sad core memory when you've been shopping in these stores and then you get to the point where you're just like oh damn they don't have my size anymore it is. It's. I think it's like defeating as well because when you're looking, like I remember distinctly seeing like Calvin Klein and loving the designs and being like, oh, they stop at a size 12 or 14. This was way back, so I don't know. They may have extended sizes now. And then going to the next rack and seeing it again, and they all stopped at 12 or 14 and just realizing that I was in a different bracket. It's like when you do the age <clears throat> drop-down brackets, yeah. right? And you've had a birthday and they're like pick your age range and you realize you're in the next bracket and you're like, oh God, I'm not 74 yet, but you have to pick that bracket. It feels like that. And it's just kind of deflating, but then you get used to it. And then these stores exist. Some of them are online only. Torrid has stores and malls. And you're like, oh, there is a saving grace. It just makes life easier when you have to find an outfit. Because the way a lot of plus size people shop, it's not oh, this is a cute outfit. I want to try it on. It's, does this fit me? Great. Mm -hmm. You know, and so your style is kind of dictated by what fits you. And, you know, that's fine. There are new, like, tons of stores. Athleta's got extended sizes. So it's definitely, like, becoming more of a thing. And if you ever hear anyone say it, it's extended sizes, but straight sizes is what they call, like, what you guys would wear up until, like, a size 12 or maybe a 10. You're straight sized. So if you ever hear that term, you know that just means, like, your typical shopper, right? Anyway, so there's a casting call for Torrid, and I actually went to, to a model call for them, and I drove to Nashville like seven years ago, mm -hmm. I think. I mm -hmm. remember. Yeah, nice. yeah. And it was a lot of fun. I waited for hours. I got there before it opened, and it was in and out, and they took my photo, and I never heard anything again. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And now, like, Bert got in my head as well, saying, like, I should be doing modeling, and I'm just looking for I think a new adventure as well to embark on um, right now so I saw the toward casting call come through into my email and I was like well maybe I should do this maybe I should try again you know if nothing comes of it oh well like mm -hmm. it would still be kind of cool to do but then I started thinking I'm like I'm not old for the earth, <laughs> but am I too old to go to a model casting call? And I know there are stores like I've seen Target feature older models in their 60s and also like models with roles. And so I'm definitely seeing a shift towards what I would call a non-traditional body type. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm old. I'm going to be with, a, and I don't fit the body profile of what's been featured in a lot of plus size. I call it acceptable plus size. It's usually you've got the flat waist or the hourglass figure and then really thick hips and big butt and maybe big arms. I've got a belly and I've got, it's called an apron belly and it's a B belly. And that's just what I have. And that's not really featured in a lot of modeling. So I'm like, is this dumb for me to even waste my time doing when I know that I'm probably not going to fit the age or body style profile of what they're looking for? Here's what I absolutely love. There's a couple of things that I absolutely am really excited for you about. I'm going to try to push you in this direction, <laughs> man. Uh, I do think you're stunning. Uh, Thank I think you. you're so photogenic. Um, I also think there's something. You look like butt in person, but you look great in pictures. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, everyone watching the video is like, what is he talking about? Um, I think that this is a major win also, considering 
how much you've struggled mentally with your weight over the years, how you've told us time and time again how you used to count calories when you were like two and a half years old. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really, really early. Yeah. Uh, you were counting ca- calories and this has always been a struggle for you. So I think breaking through that again and going for it, uh, even if you don't get, get it, it feels like a win and a shift from your childhood, even if you don't get it. Yeah, I agree. And the thing is, too, I'm big on the representation of different body types. So I'm that person who emails companies and both ways and will be like, hey, I would love to see, you know, less airbrushing and more people with this body. Like, thank you for featuring this. But could you also include these people? Because this is not realistic on what it looks like for most of us. And I also email companies that do feature various body types. And I'm like, hey. Thank you for include. I see, feel seen and I really like that I can see myself in your clothes and it helps me decide what to buy. So thank you. And so I'm sitting here as well. I'm like, would it be very disingenuous of me to sit here and always be emailing these companies and maybe have an opportunity to mm. be one of those non-traditional body types featured so other people who have bodies like me and bellies like me can be like, oh, I can wear clothes too. And then I'm like, well, that's very egotistical. Like, why is it you, Cassie? So I'm going back and forth in my head about it. No, you're, now you're overthinking yeah. it 100 yeah. you should go all right 100 you should go yes no and that was my first thought i was thinking when you were saying that you you don't really see it like you haven't seen your body type then if someone told me once if you don't see it then be it like mm. you should Ooh. you should be Ooh, that person you bar. should set it off yes i love that absolutely yeah. go for it and why right. not you cassie why not you why not you that's it's not it's not based on personality, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, my mouth is gonna be shut. Okay. Then I think win you win. got I think you got a shot. <laughs> I think you got a shot. All right. You go for it. I will. All, All right. right. The Bird Show.